Okay, so our, t our little pug is taped and ready to go. Now we can start soldering. So here I'm applying the flux. This is going to allow the, the solder to adhere to the tape, which is adhering to the glass. Makes a pretty good bond. Anybody that's worked with copper piping, you'd see them flux the copper pipes before they solder. So here she is, she's all soldered. However, the eyes are not on it just yet. And that's okay, I'm gonna put the eyes on later because once I put the eyes on, it's gonna make this uneven. I need this to be even so I can get good solder lines that aren't lumpy one direction or the other. Now come the eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put solder around them. This is called tinning. It allows the eye to get a good grasp of the uh, panel so that they're not coming out. And the eyes are made of glass. They're not plastic. These are actually, this is actually glass. So one thing I have to think about is I don't want them to get too hot because then they can crack. Glass can take so much heat. But if you have too much heat in one spot for so long a time, eventually it will crack the glass. Okay, so now I have to fit it with the cane edging, and I'm going to put it right here where this seam is. And this is like a little trap, you can see. So put this around. It's got to fit in the trap. I don't want any space. down a little bit. I don't always go all the way to the edge with my solder. And the reason for that is I need this to fit on the glass. I can join this solder to this when I'm done. In this case, it's too close to the edge. So all I have to do is melt some solder and that'll fit just fine. So here I've got good joining, good closure. This will this will work. he's all together he's looking good front and back he's all chained so now we got to give him a doggy bath then we got to polish him and I'm going to show my client how to keep those solder lines looking nice and shiny because that's part of the beauty of stained glass now we get to color the solder there are two colors that you can do for solder you can do black or you can do copper we're going to do black in this case all solder eventually will turn black with time. What we're doing here is we're speeding up the pace so that it turns black evenly and beautifully. So we're going to pour this on there and you're going to start to see this solder turn black. Nice beautiful black. Okay, so now we're going to get down to polishing. Now I'm going to use a glass polisher, 
but to polish your glass, and you can polish glass, it does beautifully, but to polish your solder lines, that keeps your solder lines nice and shiny, okay? We have here the dog, okay? There's a little bit of shine to the lines because it's nice and new, but it's, for the most part, it's pretty dull, and you'll see the difference in a minute. Um, but to keep these nice and shiny, you don't have to use special polish. You can use liquid car wash. Liquid, not paste, liquid. And you're gonna shake it up, and you're just gonna squirt it onto the glass. Don't worry about the glass, it polishes nicely. You're gonna squirt it, and you're gonna take a toothbrush, and you're gonna to toothbrush all the lines, okay? You don't wanna wait any more than five minutes, and yes, it will still be wet. You wanna wait about three to five minutes. And then, you're gonna take a rag, a soft rag, and you're gonna buff it very carefully. Just buff it, you don't have to apply much pressure. But if you buff it until it comes nice out, nice and shiny, you'll have a great looking candle. There it is, the beautiful pug. That's a dog with some personality. Now she's ready to ship for my client.